That is Corey Hedgecock into his owl, into the inside. That is Overton, Cody Overton, and an Excel Racing chassis green flag in the air. Overton into the Excel, a BMF chassis there for Hedgecock. Brody Sharp in third, Jeremy Steele in fourth. Hedgecock looking for the race lead. He'll pull a big slider there and lead lap number one, but Overton now back to the inside. Cody Overton to the inside. Hedgecock now to the outside. Going once again inside and outside as they duel. Side by side, door to door. Hedgecock coming out with the advantage of a three and four that time. He's going to lead lap number two. Oh, problems. Cody Overton running off the racetrack. He may have an issue with a tire. Into three and four into the KRC restart zone. Green flag in the air for Corey Hedgecock. Hedgecock going to take him down into turn number one. Brody Sharp in second. Jeremy Steele. Phil Thompson looking to the inside. Thompson on the inside. Steele trying to shut the door. Booger Brooks battling with Thug Nasty now as they battle four position. Brooks going to get by him and look to get the two for as he'll go to the inside of Phil Thompson now. On time between him and Thompson. They both get it gathered back up. Seth Wimpy slow on the back straightaway. We'll see if he's going to be able maybe to limp it down into the infield area. Our background caution is out. Caution for the driver at a Blue Ridge, Georgia. Seth Wimpy in the 24. Had a fast race car at Bristol. Loudon, Tennessee's on Corey Hedgecock. Still leading over Brody at Sharp. Jeremy Steele, Phil Thompson. In the 724, followed by the 148 of Booker Brooks. And oh, caution is out because we got them tangled and mangled in three and four. I believe Tyler Price had a piece of that one as well, and that is Cardwell. I believe Jason Cardwell with a lot of right side damage on that machine, and I believe that's a nine of Josh Dietz around. Still Still up front by about four or five car lengths is the 23 of Corey Hedgecock. Oh, Trevor Sice around. Everybody going to split him on the high side. Caution is out. Out front still Hedgecock followed by Steele. That's the battle for second. Brody Sharp, Phil Thompson, Booger Brooks, Logan Walsh. Closest battle as far as for track position between Jesse Lowe and Colton Prophet now. Low on the inside, Profit on that outside. Tyler Price in the seven. The Magic Man, Mark Widener, all battling back there. Three, four cards under a blanket. Josh Deeks trying to get by the 95. Here comes Jeremy Steele. Shot out of a rocket down the back straight away. Jeremy Steele looking, caution is out. We've got him off the racetrack. That's the 95. Green flag back in the air. Corey Hedgecock. Brody Sharp. Sharp on the outside. Jeremy Steele. Brody Sharp looking to the inside. Sharp now saying it's my turn. I'm going to head to second. Steele looking to make a power move on the outside and get second back. He'll try to wrestle it away. Brody Sharp in third. Brooker Brooks wants it. He's looking to the outside. Jeremy Steele firmly back in second. Booger Brooks up on the high side. Brody Sharp there in that third position. Brooks to the outside again. Booger Brooks going to put a nose out in front of Brody Sharp. He'll take the position away with a clean pass. Off the back straight away. But Sharp not going to go quietly into the ninth. He'll come back once again to the inside with a run. Best battle on the racetrack there for third between Sharp and Brooks. Logan running that high line, keeping the momentum up, throwing out the line and cranking down is Steele. Here comes the 22 of Cardwell. Cardwell is up to fourth around Booger Brooks now. Cardwell going to set his sights on the other 22 left in the field of Jeremy Steele. Well, a multi-time winner with the series last season. Wow. 
Rooney Sharp still in second, but Cardwell is coming for him. Boy, if Cardwell could get a late race caution, things will be interesting as can be. Brody Sharp on the bottom, Cardwell on the top side, and he is knocking them down. Cardwell rim riding around the top of the speedway, and he goes to second now, but it's a long way to Hedgecock. Profit slow, and the caution is out. The complexion has changed completely, and Hayden Cardwell will now be on the bumper of Corey Hedgecock with only a green flag in the air, single file restart, and what should be hopefully the final one on the night. At least that's what Corey Hedgecock is hoping and praying for. And he got a good clean restart away from Cardwell and still as we see the white flag. White flag is out, it has been displayed. Corey Hedgecock, one more trip through turn number three and four, it will be Corey Hedgecock when it's $7,500 here tonight.